Hey everyone, it is Have a High here with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, and we have some breaking news, some interesting news that we are going to get a brand new LR Tapion, and it seems like it's going to be a new meta as well because of the leader skill. So with that, let's go ahead and dive right in. And if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff, and uh, yeah, very very interesting. We we're expecting a new LR, but. Um, you know, I think a lot of people are talking about LR Tapion, maybe Super Saiyan 3 Goku, things of that nature. But uh, this looks actually incredible. Let's go ahead and take a look at the super attacks uh, and then the transformation or the active skills. So, and by the way, I've seen it already. It looks, it looks incredible. Look at this. Just outstanding. looks incredible absolutely incredible so we're gonna have the details here we're gonna take a look at it. it's LR Tapion and uh, Minotia so the brother and uh, we're, before we dive into this the reason why I'm saying it's gonna be a new meta I did a whole other video talking about will we get 130% uh, LRs from here on out or are we gonna start a new because if you look at the 130% LRs uh, the missing 130% was about seven of them, right? So we had one, two, yeah, seven, seven really missing 130%. However, you also have these special LRs that kind of were introduced, you know, during the 130% meta. Um, and this is, you know, the reason why I call it special is, you know, they range from 150 to 170 uh, in the, the LR arena or the leader skill arena. And then if you added these units with these units, it actually basically made up the entire set of 20 type advantages and it all just perfectly evens out. So thinking that, I was like, well, okay, if they evened everything out, are they just gonna continue on to put 130 LRs and finish out the last uh, seven spots or are they gonna completely uh, do a new meta? And it seems like, yes, it seems like they are gonna go with the new meta because this unit here is a LR, non Dokkan Festival exclusive, right? And the leader skill, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger here, uh, is uh, Timeless Legends and or Siblings Bond Category Key Plus 3, HP and Tank Defense 150% across the board. So it seems like that's the new meta that LR is gonna get is a dual category with 150%. We'll see if it holds up. Um, but that's what it seems like the new meta is going to be. And shout outs, of course, to Goresh for this translations here. Uh, and I'll make it nice and big so everyone can see. Um, so let's go ahead and go through the rest of the details here. Now we have a super attack 12 key, which is causes colossal damage and lowers attack and defense, which is great. Um, the 18 key, the brave heat flash greatly raises attack for one turn, causes me mega colossal damage to the enemy and massively lowers um, defense. The passive skill, this is actually very interesting here. Once again, I assume that this is going to be the new meta, but because of the passive skill, it makes me think, is this gonna be kind of a special unit here? Because there's not really a special celebration right now, right? It's just, you know, it's April, It's uh, we're kind of messing with April Fools, but there's no special, so I'm still thinking that this will be a brand new 150% uh, meta ongoing from here on out in the non Dokkan Festival exclusive arena. But the passive skills are interesting because you have attack and defense 130% right off the bat. Then you have a dual category support feature. You're gonna get Timeless Legends, which is you know a new category here. Category allies keep us to attack and defense 20%. And siblings bond category allies keep us to attack and defense 20% very very strong there right so a dual passive uh, support for a LR is incredible so medium and then on top of that medium chance to perform additional super attack when launching a ultra super attack so 
um, you know, getting that double um, SA is going to be very, very good if you get to 18 key. And then minus 13%, you know, kind of a random number there, damage received for each super attack performed during the turn. So, hey, that's a little bit of mitigation, which is great. The active skill, the heroic duo, which once again looks just incredible, uh, able to use it once four turns have elapsed and from the start of the battle. And there's another Timeless Legends category or Siblings Bond category ally uh, on the team, which is very easy, right? You're talking about Timeless Legends. I'm not sure exactly what that category is, but Siblings Bond, there's a lot of good units that you can, that you can easily run with this team here. Now, the ability is remove all status ailments so it's kind of like a uh, um, you know like a, like a cleanse right so a cleanse from all allies and then all allies key plus two and attack and defense 20 percent for two turns so that is just an additional buff so this is a full-on support unit for timeless legends and support uh, siblings bond which is incredible so the uh the links you know unfortunately you got Hero, Experienced Fighters, Brainiacs, Cold Judgment, Solid Support, Fierce Battle. You know, no Prepare for Battle, no uh, Shocking Speed or anything of that nature. So the links are a little bit, you know, like, eh. Uh, but you got Fierce Battle and Legendary Power. Now, once again, this continues to bother me the most about the introduction of new units that, in a sense, you're going to be, you know, paying for this right you know unless you get crazy lucky and, and and get this on a single or or a first multi or something like that is the is the the categories four four is is not enough is not enough for this game right now so if you think about you know the categories in timeless legends which is brand new you're only getting three other old categories in movie hero siblings bond and join forces so once again, very interesting of what they're doing here, um, but I'm very disappointed in the categories being that uh, I said, you know, kind of from here on out, as, as long as you have six categories, that should be the bare minimum of any new unit that you're going to be introducing. So with Videl and now with Tapion and Minotia, four categories just it's not it's not cutting it so uh tell me what you guys think in in the comment section below on this unit here do you think that this is going to be the new metas um the dual uh dual category 150 percent uh or is this one of these special ones because we we also have a dual category 150 percent in um uh in, in a few right if you kind of look at the special lrs right you have um the the lr androids lr 51 right so um, and I think that's it though. This is the only one that I believe it's dual at 150 non dual confessful exclusive. I'm trying to think because everyone else is one that has at least a 170, right? 170, 170, 170, 170. Uh, I forget if, if, um, uh, if 17 and 17 and freeze are both 170 or is it both 150? Either way, um, is, is it the new meta or do you think it's, uh, it's something that's going to be uh, just special here, which I don't see it. I think that's where we're going to go from here on out with uh, with LRs is a dual uh, category 150%, which, you know, I, I, I don't mind that. Uh, anyway, again, tell me what you think, what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm... You know, I'm not overly hyped, but I'm interested in seeing if this is going to be the future of LR. So with that, uh, uh, thank you all for watching and uh, keep on doconing. We'll catch you next time.